Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to Area 15. Now I know I've done some videos in the past about Area 15, but I'm going to take a look around and see what's new here since they've been open for a while and I want to go in and show you guys what's going on. Now Area 15 is just behind uh, the 15 highway that runs north and south in the Las Vegas area there. And it's just behind the Las Vegas Boulevard. So the closest place to it is the Trump and uh, Palace Station Casino. So that's kind of the geolocation of where it's at. So let's go inside. Here we go into this little porthole thing. It's kind of cool. They got it all kind of, you know, futuristic space age kind of thing going on. I, th I thought it was cool. Great for some selfies or some uh, Instagram pics. But here we are in the indoor. You see the skull here that's always been there. But... It kind of does this uh, little change of a uh, graphic display and all that stuff, so it's kind of cool. It's kind of projected onto it. This new distillery over to the uh, right here is brand new, and uh, this will be open soon, uh, but it, uh, it looks pretty interesting. I haven't been inside, but um, here are some of the new attractions on this uh, board here that you can see. And Area 15 is pretty cool. It's family friendly. Um, I have a great time every time I go in, and uh, there's always something to do. You can eat, drink, um, don't drink, or, you know, whatever. There's ice cream for kids or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of different things to um, hang out here. And you can spend a good amount of time here if you go to the inside the attractions. Now, I'm not going in the attractions in this video. I'm not going to Omega Mart or anything like that. I'm just walking around and showing you all the new stuff that has opened up here this brainstorm is another VR thing they got a couple of different VR um, stations here there's one upstairs too but some are you know I imagine they have different VR experiences in them I don't know what exactly what it is but I'm just showing you what is uh, new I really like walking through here because you can go to the main concourse, which I'm in right now, and you can go around for free. So it doesn't cost you any money to go inside of here. It might um, it might turn you away at the door if it's loaded with people, and you might have to wait your turn or something like that. But uh, if you got like tickets to these events and uh, attractions inside, they will let you in the door. You can purchase. While you're here, you can purchase that stuff. So Makers and Finders, a new thing here. It's like a coffee thing. But there's one in the Arts District. I went to the Arts District not too long ago. And you can see that video here if you guys want to see the Arts District and where Makers and Finders is at. It's definitely a video to check out. If you've never been to our Artsy District, it's really cool. A lot of new stuff going on. There's Omega Mart. Omega Mart is the main attraction here at Area 15. It is basically an art installation that you walk through. You experience all the rooms and all the gadgetry and gizmos and all that stuff. I'm not going to give you too much, but if you want to see the video on everything to know about Area uh, 15, you can or Omega Mart, you can. Um, I'll leave links for that. That was the axe throwing place, by the way. So coming up here is the, uh, that's their center piece tree. Um, it is a bar, so it opens up more. So in the evenings, this is also part of their uh, restaurant here. It's super chill. Uh, very welcoming, warming. I don't know, it just seems like some place I would hang out. Um, it felt very comfortable here, like, you didn't feel out of place, so that's why I like this place so much. Is you don't really like we sit down someplace and it feels like you shouldn't be there. This is the total opposite. Everyone's super chill, relaxed. Of course, you can get a drink at the bar, have fun. It's a great place to meet up with people and look around and do stuff. They also serve some desserts out front. Oh, look at those cannolis, jeez. Holy moly cannoli. <clears throat> so, yeah, everybody's pretty cool here. Even though I was filming in here, um, it, it, no one seemed to mind that I was doing that. Um, before 
pre-pandemic stuff, um, it was hard to film in some places, especially casinos. They didn't want you filming. And certain casinos didn't like that. But now, they like it because it's free publicity for these places. Here's a new store that opened up. Just a candy store. But they got all this other tchotchke stuff that's for sale. Um, so it's cool. Cool for the kids, you know. Uh, and I think that's great. They're doing stuff more with four kids here so they can do stuff here. It's very limited. So if you bring your kids here to Las Vegas, I mean, walking down Fremont Street is kind of sketchy for children, um, in my opinion. But hey, to each his own. But it's good to have something like this for people that want to bring their kids and want to do something with their kid in Vegas. This is a nice, safe place for that. Of course, there's video games. I'm going to go into the video game, uh, the Aporium there. In just a second, just working my way through the corridor here. But it's good to have this. Um, they have the Meow Wolf puts on this thing. So you heard of Meow Wolf in New Mexico. There's now one in Denver and then here in Las Vegas. Meow Wolf is a art consortium kind of thing. And they develop these things called Omega Mart. And um, I'm not sure what the Mexican and Denver, they're called different stuff some, you know, elsewhere. But ours is called Omega Mart. It's like a shopping experience going crazy. Uh, but it's pretty cool. What I like is uh, they have artwork of Alex Gray in there. I don't know if you guys are uh, familiar with Alex Gray. He's a world-renowned artist. He does more like surreal art and um, spiritual art. He is on a lot of Tool, the band um, Tool. There's a lot of cover art artwork on their albums and stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool to have uh, Alex Gray in the Omega Mart part of things. So little teaser if you want to know more there's links down below to see previous videos I've done on this stuff it's pretty cool so I'm going my way up from the uh, video game stuff there's an upstairs as well they do serve food here so you can eat some um, I think it's just like bar food you know regular burgers and whatever else they serve sweet potato fries and uh, probably chicken sandwich here and there but I didn't get a good look at their menu but a lot of space, which is nice. I like this spaced out thing, like the ski ball, kind of throwback video game kind of stuff. Um, not video games, but uh, analog <laughs> games. That's, but it's pretty cool. It's nice. The atmosphere is really comfortable here. It's not um, too snazzy and, and too shiny it, everything is very artistic here so it, it leaves you kind of just um, looking at the walls and trying to figure out what's this what's that who's the artist and who developed all this stuff that's kind of what comes to my mind when I look at this kind of thing but it's fun it kind of takes you out of your reality a little bit and kind of throws you uh, into something else you feel very calm in in um, relaxed very relaxing in here just to take this stuff all in and I'm glad everybody's pretty chill and pretty relaxed here not a whole lot of like hey you shouldn't be doing over here and all that stuff nope it's pretty chill this VR room coming up on here is another we'll go inside this one but um, just check it out it's more like seating areas and stuff like that so um, so they're trying to get, but all these cost money. So you'll see like virtualis is what it's called. And they probably take you through a whole different, uh, dimension of things. So you put the goggles on your face and see what happens, I guess. I've never tried it. I don't really have an interest in it actually. 
but there are a few places on the strip that do that too there's one on fremont street where you sit in this chair this little egg-shaped chair you probably see them around town here and they put some goggles on you and the the whole seat will move to the uh, maybe it's a roller coaster or you're skydiving or something like that anyways you get the idea that's becoming more popular There's a golf swinging place here. It's coming up. You can um, get some beers and hang out with the ba with the boys and the babes and swing some golf clubs. And if you can't get into, uh, you know, Top Golf, there's this right here. Next best thing right here, because basically it's just a virtual golf game. There's a top-down view of Omega Mart. Highly recommend going to it if you guys are into the artsy stuff. It's it's really fantastic. We had a blast going through there. And then here's the golf section of things here. The golf thing is pretty cool. It seemed like a you know your normal everyday bar hangout I thought it was kind of cool and everybody was chill everyone's really really relaxed and chill and some other things for attracting the young kids with the neon stuff um, I think that's kind of cool this little uh, wink world seems like a cool place to walk through with all the neon and stuff Again, all these things cost money, so I didn't have three thousand dollars to spend on all this stuff to get in. Um, so no, it's not; doesn't cost that much. For the most part, it's like fifteen to twenty-five. The Omega Mart is probably the most expensive, with its uh, forty forty-five dollar range in the price range, but it's totally worth it, in my opinion. And this here is a new addition. This is basically just a giant room. You walk into this room and you are in a, um, a space that just does projection stuff. I'll show you, this is what it does. So there's music that goes to it. And once you buy the ticket, you can go in as much as you want. So the ticket's about 25, 35 bucks. And you go in here and you just experience all this cool sound stuff in there. So you actually, feels like you're in an infinity room so that's kind of a new thing um it's kind of trippy i think it's cool so who knows maybe you like this stuff i don't know but that's what's new at area 15 if you guys like this definitely give it a like subscribe share this with other people so they know what's going on and they have an idea of what to expect when they come to area 15 uh but anyways my name's jason james and i'll see you guys in the next video cheerio